Hey guys, so I am going to teach you a little bit about how to buy cards and my current mental mentality on how I buy cards. Uh, first and foremost, until a card goes to auction, no one knows what the price of the card is. You're looking at a BGS 9.5 on centering, 10 on everything else. It is Card Capital Sakura. My girlfriend loves it. Uh, we had to try to buy one. Uh, there were there was a few other in auction that were really interesting, but we bought it for three hundred and sixteen dollars free shipping, and that is what we bought it for. Now, if you look at this, and Weiss guys are actually very good, so it's not even a bad company, but they have this listed many times, uh, very much higher. Alpha Investment does this as well with his Vintage Magic. You might make the argument that the price is so high because he doesn't. No one expects you to actually buy it. They just expect you to make an offer and negotiate. That being said, there are many, many people who overinflate the price of their cards. Uh, this is just one technique. Uh, I can tell you another technique. Sasha T with the half a million dollar Charizard. That half a million Charizard, the actual breakdown of what happened was it was 100,000 cash only and about 300,000 trade. Now, if you know anything, trade, you can inflate the price of trade as well. I can tell you about one circumstance that I witnessed in person, and it was a Black Lotus. Uh, it was a PSA 10, Auto 10, and the trade was supposedly $340,000 of value. But when they mean value, when you normally think about that, they kind of want you to believe it's all cash. But in reality, it is cash plus trade. So no one's paying all cash. It's just with like Sasha T's half a million dollar Charizard. Whenever these record-breaking private transactions happen, understand that a lot of it does involve trade. And it's not like somebody paid full cash. For the item now the other thing i'm really really hesitant about is how people i'm always going to pick on the meta zoo community they hate it they hate me it's mutual right but this stuff is you, you just can't make this like people do this all the time but they don't do so as openly as meta zoo does so on the netflix documentary and you can watch the video yourself on netflix a person is trying to get like a, as big of a commission as possible. So he visits MetaZoo. He makes multiple very wrong statements. MetaZoo is rocking and rolling. It is in bankruptcy right now. So that was that turned out not to be true. He said Magic the MetaZoo would take over Magic the Gathering in five to ten years. Again, MetaZoo is in bankruptcy. Um, we don't know. I cannot predict the future in five to ten years. But that seems very very optimistic and then he's presented with two items one item that he's not even allowed to buy or consign and that was the chromi uncut sheet and that item mike waddell gives a, a value of five thousand dollars the second item which is far more interesting is two original artworks commissioned by poncho uh, they actually had poncho appear on the episode and sign the artwork because he didn't sign it previously i guess and Mike brags about how this each artwork he commissioned for $20. So there's two of them. You did a math. That's $40. They assigned this a value of $25,000. Like I said, if it doesn't go to auction, it, it, the item is only worth what you will pay for it. Okay, it's not worth what you believe it is. It's not worth what the owner believes it is. It is worth what somebody will pay for it. And shockingly, I highly doubt that somebody will pay $25,000 for that particular piece of artwork at any point in time. So we have a situation where everyone thinks that their collection is worth an insane amount of money because they go on eBay and they see it buy it now. And it's listed there, Sakura, for $1,300. That is not the real price. I bought the exact same Sakura 2DT to the exact subgrades for only $316. That's the real value. If there is another comp, then, then that would be the real value, right? But I'm 
I'm saying that there are a lot of people who flip cards and they want to over exaggerate. There's many ways to do it. Maybe they have a lot of these cards and they want to pretend that these cards are super duper valuable when they're not. And they list on eBay. Uh, this is something Alpha Investment has done for a long time. He'll list his vintage cards on eBay for astronomically high prices. He doesn't expect anyone to buy them. They're just there for advertisement purposes, right? And other people have followed in th those footsteps. You got to um, really consider this, guys. Like, it's very, very difficult out there to buy a decent collection nowadays. Everyone is, I, all these prices are so fake and they're so FOMO, so hyped up. I mean, MetaZoo, not to pick on it over and over again, but Nightfall was $820 for a kit. How does that even happen? We're not even talking about the first set, Cryptid Nation, first edition Kickstarter. We're talking about the second set, Base. Or uh, Foss, uh, Jungle. It A lot of these card prices, people will want you, and especially on Facebook Market, on eBay, you can actually do a price check of what the last comp is. But on Facebook Marketplace or Mercario or even on other individual websites, there's no actual... There's no actual comp, so therefore you're kind of at the mercy of the website owner or the person who lists on Facebook. Now, I understand what you're saying. Hey, if you don't like the price, don't buy it. But I think the prices are so high that it's there's something even beyond that. Uh, there's something that where they're trying to inflate the price of the card artificially and trying to fool you know, a greater sucker. I'm seeing this with moving on, bringing on a ton. Where people post on Facebook that they want like $2,000 for an ungraded Moomerion because they saw a PSA 10 go for that price. And you see this a lot when people open packs, right? Uh, these card breakers, whenever they open a pack, the price they give you isn't the raw price. It is the PSA 10 price, fully understanding that a card that is raw would have to be then... You pay for grading, you wait a few months, and then you hopefully get it back. And it may not be a PSA 10. It may not be a PSA 10. So I do think that people are manipulating. Uh, people are absolutely manipulating kind of the system. And they are really taking advantage of people's night. The newer players. Even for me, like I, I'm not a new player in any aspect. But in Weiss, like I'm looking at these cards. They say that they're 1300 by now. And they all say they're like 1300 Maybe one's 1100 And then one goes to auction and... And it resets the entire market by not just a little bit, but by like a thousand dollars. We're talking about on a three hundred dollar card. Isn't that's a, that's a that's a little bit too much? No. Like I get it. Okay, you're off comps a little bit, but man, you're off by like seventy five. What? No, you're off by like four times more than four times. You're off by four hundred percent. What is going on here? 